I've sunk an enemy destroyer. In the depths of night we glide. Steel and fire. Breaking through the tide. Oh, the shadows grow. On the deck of Z-42. We rose. I've seen the darkness. Hey team, this is Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Got any uh, kind of a review slash take a look at of the Z42. Someone had asked me to uh, analyze it since I like uh, the kind of daring style AP kind of destroyer role, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Review here, but before we begin, like, subscribe, button below. Appreciate all the support. As always, at our uh, next goal, be 4,000, do another premium giveaway. So let's get to it. Z42, this is pretty much in a nutshell. The uh, German form of the Haragumo line of the Japanese uh, destroyer class uh, Z-42 is basically if you had to take a Z-52 and mesh it together with a Haragumo, this is what you kind of get. You get the five gun setup like you normally would. It's got two torpedo launchers, uh, slightly different than the Haragumo, but uh, it has the uh, increased AP damage and the, imp the angles aren't as good as the Daring class line. If they were, this thing would be a monster horrendous. The bread and butter of the selling point of this is you get the Z-52 Hydra of 6 kilometers, which makes it great for a destroyer hunting, cap contesting, and so forth. With the quick smoke screens of the Daring class style destroyers, you got an engine boost for that nice juking, which you'll see later on of how we can dodge shells, juke, and really, just really frustrate a lot of battleship and cruiser players. You don't have as much HP as you can see right there, 23,200, and not the greatest as, uh, like, you know, I would like. I would like a little bit higher. Of course, this is building for survivability expert. Uh, the gun DPM reload is, if you want to build for it, you can. It's not fast as, say, with Daring or Druid style levels of reload, but it's still manageable. It's still You're kind of at, again, that Haragumo reload speed. The, uh, the, the torpedoes are more of just deterrence. They're not really a first strike weapon. They don't only go out to about 10 kilometers, kind of the standard uh, kind of middle ground torpedo range rather than going out to the distance of like Holland or Shimakaze or even gearing levels of range. And they're not as quick as you can see. They're just slow rolling, kind of sea mine, kind of creeping along. But they are there as a deterrent just to keep uh, enemies at bay. Now, you notice I am running the build of the uh, RPF uh, detection kind of capabilities. Right here, you can see just kind of that uh, AP loaded for destroyer hunting ability. I always keep AP loaded nowadays. Oh, we get a nice torpedo hit right there. You can see the uh, amount of shells we're pumping out are much, much larger. And look at the damage right there. It is not a good day when you're firing a, or going against a Z42's AP, especially if you're full broadside. And just look at the amount of damage you can get right there. You look, we're already pummeling about a few thousand uh, HP or a, sorry AP damage, and you can see it really wrecks havoc on. Uh, destroyer players and it is not something you want to mess with you got the quick smokes that are using right that you can see me using right there and then of course you can always switch to the he style level of um you know no normal uh, destroyer gameplay the pendant is only about 26 millimeters which is okay it's not bad it can do just like standard damage to superstructures if you do decide to build for ifhe which gets your um at your uh pen damage up to about 32 mil that is up to you i normally nowadays don't see a need for it because honestly your focus is to just get fires going and your your guns are primarily designed like you see right there all the fires we got going your he is really just designed for those destroyer players um that really just have you know 21 to 9 and below millimeter armor which is what the most of the time you're going to be dealing with which makes it a very suitable aspect for destroyer hunter roles but again i'm using that ap damage to get as much as i can uh to get knocked off a, a full broadside uh destroyer uh, that i'm going to be engaging with because i'm normally with our detection about 6.2 I'll get spotted, drive within six, pop your hydro. Now you've got that DD spotted for our, for the majority of the time. Hydro is like an unlimited radar from six kilometers in. And that's kind of like the play style, again, like Z52 and Z42. Again, the meta right now 
is, uh, I mean, it, it is kind of it flaky about doing that kind of a role where you're going to draw somebody in all the way to six kilometers, which nowadays with the amount of CVs, radar, and so forth out there, and DDs have radar nowadays too, it, you got to play it sparingly, and you got to actually know what you're going up against prior hand. That's why I always like before beginning of the match, a good destroyer player will analyze the player lineup and the battlefield to see what is um, the best uh, suitable match against your destroyer because I wouldn't go up against a small one, for example, in a Z42. Uh, I wouldn't want to risk going up against something that's got high DPM, radar, engine boost, as well as you know, heals. I don't have heals. That's the downside of Z42. If you're going to be a gunboat DD, you need some heals to recover. But again, I digress. It's all about the level of gameplay style and how you want to save your HP for the long haul. And that's the name of the game today in today's meta of Destroyers. You can see him pumping a lot of AP into that uh, Schlieffen right there. Unfortunately, he goes down. Or fortunately, he goes down. And uh, we don't get much damage. But that's okay. We knew that was going to happen. Still got the quick smokes. And we got the injury wounds as well. Now, the, imp the, uh, the, ape the gun angles on a Z42 are decent. The front three turrets are obviously more... Uh, a line for shooting forward and the back turrets do take a time to swing back around to do a 180 turn the middle turret as you can see is more of a kind of a 360 style turret so it does maneuver with you when you go left and right as opposed to the rear back two turrets uh, kind of again like the Haraguma line you got to wait for those to swing around as you can see the back two turrets are swinging around right now the reason I like RPF on this because a Z42 is a very good destroy hunter in my personal opinion with the AP and especially the HE does very good significant damage you got the engine boost to help you speed up and catch people. Look, you're going 38.3 knots base, which is very suitable to go hunt uh, and chase down unsuspecting DDs. We're spotted right here, but again, I only have to drive a few more clicks or point, uh, I would say, for, say, a Shimakaze point seven to drive into him. And there we go. We got the front two turrets and the front three turrets now firing, so it's okay. We're going to use HE right here because of the, um, the angles he's at right now. Not the best AP angles, but like I said, we got the Hydro running with N6. He's spotted. That's, that's why this makes this very, very good and suitable for destroyer hunting. And boom, splash one. That is our first kill of this match. Now we're going to slam on the brakes with the engine boost active, and then we pop the smoke for the quick unde go undetected. Of, of course, knowing that, hey, we're not uh, detected by radar. I always have to make sure I keep an eye out for that. As long as we're not in radar range, then being in this quick smoke is safe and it is conservative. And now we're just using our HE to start fires again. And that's kind of like uh, what we're going to, that kind of quick and dirty gameplay style of the Z42 daring kind of pop smoke, start fires. And that's kind of the play style I've seen in the Z42. You can't use your or open gunboat too too much in this because he, despite having engine boosts and juking shells, as you can see later on, I'll do. You don't have the heals, so you don't really get to, I would say, heal or uh, correct your mistakes or heal your damage that you take you take from just open water gunboating and just picking a battle with a battleship or say a cruiser. And again, I've, that's what I've noticed. Z42 is kind of like again, we're spotted right here. Uh, I got to make sure I go, hey, do I want to pick a fight with this destroyer or do I want to put, you know, could reveal myself to battleships and so forth and take this unnecessary damage? It's all up to you guys how you want to play that. Again, it's okay in maneuverability for juking. Uh, the, you, what you'll see bread and butter for me is the engine boost active and I go back and forth throwing the throttle forward and back. Taking a hit right there, not good, and burning. It burns just like normal, and then we pop smoke if you're taking too much damage. So, again, that normal daring kind of hit-and-run gameplay style. Uh, Start-stop functions are pretty decent, standard. Uh, and, again, the thing I don't like about it too much is that it doesn't have too much HP, and I need a little bit more yields. So, But, again, if your play style is like that Z52 Haragumo style, then this is a very decent uh, destroyer battle gunboat for that as well. Notice that we're going to pummel as much shells. The DPM reload is great when you have Luchins uh, active. You know, I think you get above a certain amount of uh, shell damage. You get an increased reload. Or, uh, I'm sorry, forgive me. However, if you get an, a specific amount of HE shell hits or just gunboat main battery hits, you get that increased reload active for the Luchins right there. So pretty awesome for the Z42. It works very well for the destroyer player role. Notice how we looked at RPF. The closest ship right now is that cruiser encounter. I'm checking out to make sure his uh, hydro is a certain amount of distance. Yeah, the, uh, and his torpedoes only go to throw oh, actually 13.5. So I want to make sure I'm not going to get hit by unsuspecting torpedoes as well since I'm low health. Right now, the battle, it looks like it's uh, pretty much kind of rough right here. We, I thought we had this, but um, you're going to see later in the battle, we're losing Bravo to a battleship to the north. And I have to do, again, as a destroyer player, what do you want to do? You want to spot, you want to shoot, you want to torpedo. 
torp. You want to smoke up your teammates. You want to uh, also cap for your teammates. And you got to use your speed to hunt down all the destroyers, which we did. We hunted down the Shima and we took out the other remaining destroyers on our flank. And, and now I got to go cap and then also help my teammates kill another battleship. So as you can see, a good destroyer player is literally doing literally every single thing that World of Warships is all about because uh, I, that's why I enjoyed being a destroyer player so much because of the impact you can have on the battlefield. And again, you are the most crucial component of that battlefield because of everything that you uh, have to offer and bring to the fight with concealment and smoke and gun power and gun DPM reload and torpedoes. And of course, you got the Hydra Detect you know, other destroyers in the game, but you really are using RPF to give signals intelligence and figure out where are the enemies at. And again, that's exactly why I love the destroyer role. It is so, so impactful and you do feel it. It's very rewarding. Uh, as opposed to nowadays, uh, I think cruisers battleships are not as rewarding because of the fact that they're so far in the back or they're just getting spammed by CVs and subs. And really the only thing to counter it is really the destroyer player in my personal opinion. So right now we got the Georgia and we're gonna just put as much fire as we can on the Georgia. Georgia is known for its improved heals quick reload heals damage cons and uh, just the amount of secondaries and gunpowder that it does bring so we have to eliminate the georgia we got our torpedoes out there hopefully we get one hit to stop his healing and you can see right there he's baked around 32 mil and up so our he is only good on his superstructure so that's what i'm aiming at right there so as a good destroyer player you should know that and boom he goes down with a the uh, torpedo hits and then now we're working on our next target which is the cruiser shooting from smoke so that is very detrimental to our our teammates so again we got to go out there and go spot him and take the fight to him as a good destroyer always does we're losing charlie or sorry delta cap to the schlieffen so i think this battle is pretty much lost because the amount of caps they have to amount of we are going to have to recapture and take it, it's just not suited and that's the other the cool thing about the Z42, it does go 38 knots. Even engine boost gets up to 43-ish or 41-ish. Uh, but unfortunately, it's not like Marceau and Kleber style where you can go run around and recap all the, the points. Again, we did everything we could. We I don't know what else we can do. I mean, our, we're literally carrying the team here, trying to kill everybody, cap the, the, the points, and do all the objectives that a Dijon player is supposed to do. Again, this is two brothers, so knowing that... Uh, that we could have gone up the middle or we go to the west. It is up to you and your decision and how to decide how you want to play. Uh, we lose our GK to the Ohio. Again, Ohio, very powerful, kind of like the upscale version of the Georgia. I like Ohio a lot, man. It is one of the most powerful destroyers. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, battleships in the game. Ooh, we get another activated Luchens there. We get a hit, uh, hit point restored because we spotted three ships or more uh, during that engagement. Once you spot three ships of Luchin, you get that nice little heal, which is pretty weird and uh, kind of overpowered, I think, because every time you spot ships at a destroyer player, you get more heals. That's all pretty awesome. We got 83,000 damage here, one kill in the game. So now who do we kill right here? I'm going to elect to kill the Ohio since he's the lowest right now. We're trying out the AP, and this is the reason why I don't like the AP on the Z42 compared to the Daring or the Vampire or even the Druid. The improved angles are not as great as I would like them to be, so we have to switch to HE. I think the uh, stats say that it's 45 to 60 degrees for the maximum for some kind of effective damage. So the, the Druid at least gets up to about 73 or uh, a little higher there. Uh, the AP angles for the daring are about 65 ish i believe it's a little higher a little bit better um that's why i like the the british style ap and it's a little bit more damaging a little bit better improved angles you can uh play a little bit more and have a little forgiveness there but man with the um the z42 it's not the greatest so i don't like that much and the angles you got to expose a little bit too much for all five hertz to get in there and of course the the shells have to hit right on the mark and of course into the superstructure of heavier hitting battleships so um, for DDs, uh, yeah, they're okay. I, like you saw earlier, uh, we were working on the Shima. You just got to get them full broadside, and that's really why it's a little bit more difficult. Now, for lighter cruisers, like this encounter here, let's see. We are getting somewhat, again, he's angling now, so we really can't do much. So we got to switch to HE, as a good destroyer player does. Now, we're, look, we got the engine boost active. And here's a good a, a kind of demonstration of the throttle juking. Now, we're just watching the shots, and I'm kind of just watching his rhythm. As he fires, I go one, two. He's probably aiming in front of me. He's thinking I'm moving forward. I slam in reverse. He's probably aiming at me, seeing my smoke stacks going reverse, and he's probably going, oh, he's probably moving backwards now. Now, this one I misjudged. Yeah, he took a lot in the the, uh, the, uh, the butt of my ship there. Now, he probably fired in front of me, so I slam in reverse again, and I'm just walking it back and forth. I'm watching how the player, imagining if I was him, and boom, he's just taking on the Slav. I probably would have died till one more hit there up to 800, and man, it is rough. Uh, we lost that battle due to the 
fact that we lost all the caps. So we'll go to another battle here. Here's a good example of the DD gameplay role of contesting caps. As long as there's no radar in the area, I've, I, I analyzed the battlefield earlier, we can do things like this where, okay, I've got something in front of me right here. I noticed something. It's, I know there's probably a gearing or a, a, another style of gearing like a Shima. Very high detection for or bad detection on my part because I have a 6.2 as opposed to Shima and gearing have about 5.6 to 5.8. So they're going to outspot me immediately. So right there. So I know somebody's in the cap right now. It's probably a gearing. And yep, it is a gearing. He outspots me. Uh, poor on him because he just went in and smoked up, but he doesn't realize I'm a German destroyer with Hydro. So I pop the Hydro, reveal with him. Anything within six is going to be perma spotted, and it lasts a long time. So look, I got the front two guns with AP loaded. AP is going to do the magic rip here. Again, the slow reload, not the greatest as I want to be, but it's better than nothing. So I've got to also shoot and dodge torpedoes at the same time. Again, I'm very bad at dodging torpedoes, so we find a little slot right here. I am out of my smoke now, so I'm going to go detected very bad because the quick smoke screens, they pop very quickly, and i got to reverse back into them. Now, I'm using my HE at this point, uh, the heat of the moment. I said, you know what, let's just use HE, start as much fires. Uh, HE doesn't care about angles. We're just trying to get as much damage as we can. He's outside my spotting of six kilometers, so now the, the hydro is useless, okay? It just basically spots within six or less. It's kind of like a long enduring uh, six kilometer radar that lasts a long time. That's the way I look at Hydro. Now I'm basically going to turn back around and get out of dodge. He's probably trying to shoot in the blind. I don't want to take unnecessary damage. But we also have two battleships pushing in, which is not good. Nobody's supporting me in the sense I'm literally in Bravo by myself. And everybody else focused at Charlie or Alpha or running in the back. So I've got the torpedoes coming down. And this is kind of what the torpedoes are for. They're really just a slow deterrent. Um, just getting them from pushing too, too fast into me. And I'm going to see if I can try to cap. But you know what? I make the decision as to they're in the cap. They're contesting. They've got three ships to me. I'm not going to mess around with three battleships, including they have a destroyer as well. Not... It's all about disengaging and reassessing and reevaluating. Hey, where am I more useful at as a quick reaction force? And that's what the Z42, uh, as a or sorry, as a destroyer player, just not the Z42 alone, any destroyer. You got to pick and choose your battles. If you got three battleships with a destroyer in support coming at you, you're just gonna have to re re regroup, reassess, and evaluate where are you best utilized for. Now I got the quick. Ooh, we can take a torpedo hit right there from a battleship, and uh, we're gonna pop our smoke and see if we can farm damage again. Here's the other downside: since you're the only guy in the middle spotting that you're a destroyer player if you're the only one spotting that's bad on your team because i mean those two battleships literally just went undetected and i'm the only one in the area that's so sad the fact that nobody can spot these guys and we got flooding and fires on some of these battleships right here this is what the z42 is very good at you get quick smokes pop smoke start farming getting fires getting floods going and i've already got a flood on the auditorio and now the massachusetts bravo we need a fire on him so we're going to try to see if we can get some fires going and we want to get multiple fires going back and forth between the two ships and get them both burning down we got another fire in the massachusetts right there very good let's see if we can get another fire on the el Latorio here our smoke goes down but guess what we got another smoke ready to go in 20 seconds oh we got the the uh dis uh, sorry the torpedoes from the gearing coming in at us so we're gonna have to also re uh reposition here not to take those full broadside torpedoes a very good thing about the z42 or being a destroyer player in general is to keep your your i would say profile slim to towards the enemy destroyer because you don't want to take those unsuspecting torpedoes full broadside it's easier to maneuver a ship that's slimline profile into torpedoes rather than being sitting uh, sitting in your smoke sitting broadside to a flank of the torpedoes i've died so many times of that and i've learned my lesson you don't want to do that don't sit still in smoke and don't sit broadside to a destroyer that is torpedoing you right now we've got the rpf says the closest target is this yogero right here this uh, japanese destroyer and i think we can outgun him again it's all about choosing and picking your battles to show that you have an advantage and so we know we have a gun power advantage here so we're going to go ahead and drive in my hydro will be uh, ready at 35 seconds we out we are spotted but he's well within uh 42 uh or sorry uh well within his detection range so we're gonna use our ap look at the ap damage right now he's angled right here which is bad a normal 
British Destroyer would have been able to handle that. Now he overturns and overcorrects it, and we use our HE to finish him off. Splash one goes right there, and there's nothing Yagero could have done. Now we angle away as a good Destroyer player because we don't know if he dropped torpedoes. As always, if you ever, ever go against a Destroyer, you want to make sure that you're either angling away or angling in because they probably dropped, assume they dropped torpedoes, and you want to give at least about 30 seconds to a minute to make sure that no torpedoes were launched or they have been shot and go by you. So there's a learning tip right there. There are many times I've been caught where someone is about to die and they just kind of desperate shot torpedoes right at you. You want to make sure you don't run into those. So Z42, as you can see, overall, how do I like it? I like it a lot. It just requires a little bit of finesse, a little bit of patience, a little bit of conservativeness. You don't want to rush into your death. You don't want to get sucked in to say, I've got to use my hydro right away. You got to use it on a case-by-case -case basis because you don't know what what kind of ships are out there, what is the radar, what is the CV gun power right now, is the CV going to spot you first. You got the quick smokes to get away from CV but then you also have the submarine problem as well if you have a sub in your area make sure you run away or disengage you don't want to drive in right away off the first um, first few minutes of the match to get radared or spotted and take that unnecessary damage because you don't have heals now when you do realize there's nobody in the area other than a say a gearing or a simple d torpedo destroyer that you outgun then you can drive in and start contesting and that's kind of how i play it i kind of wait for to see where's everybody at then i choose my cap points that i know i can win a gun battle in and then you start moving in and again forming is, will happen later in the game for the z42 with the quick smokes and of course engine boost for the uh, the juking back and forth and that's pretty much it that's how z42 is played now, i do like the fact that it is a little faster i mean 38.3 knots as opposed to 36 ish to the darings and and kind of the british style destroyer gameplay it is decent speed is not Claire marceau speeds that i do like but it is somewhat manageable it's not the worst so z42 how would i uh rank it is it worth your grind it is in the armory that you have to do uh, a little bit of grinding for that uh a special resource i forget what it's for uh, forgive me i think it's for steel correct me if i'm wrong but it could be for research prints as well i think it's more along the lines for steel uh is it worth your time for grinding those extra resource points are i mean it's up to you i think it's worth it uh if you are that kind of destroyer game player role if you're not a destroyer player not necessarily there are other ships that do the job just as well but that's my take on a Z42 powerful destroyer. Got to play with certain circumstances, but it is still good in my book. It's worth my grind. But anyways, hope you liked the video. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Like, subscribe button below. Hope you guys are doing well. Make sure you say hi out there. Build is at the end of the video. And as always, you guys stay safe. And I look forward to seeing clan battles to start. I look forward to seeing you guys out there as always. Take care, and we'll see you soon. Cheers.